Last week, October 31st, was the 503rd anniversary of the Reformation. Sharing the date with Halloween, Reformation Day marks the moment in 1517 when Martin Luther nailed his 95 theses on the church door in Wittenberg, Germany, outlining the reforms that were needed in the Catholic Church. One of these necessary changes was the abolition of selling indulgences, which was when a person paid money to the church in exchange for absolving of sins or reduction of time in purgatory. The Bible is clear that forgiveness and salvation are by grace alone through faith in Jesus Christ. One of the lesser known aspects of the Reformation is that it gave the laity or common person access to the Word of God. During Luther's day, people were dependent on the clergy or leadership of the church to teach them the scriptures. This is because books were rare and expensive back then. Also, the Bible was written in Latin, and only the highly educated could read and understand it. After getting excommunicated or kicked out of the Catholic Church, Luther translated the Bible into German. Coupled with the Gutenberg printing press, the scriptures were now accessible and able to be read by the general public. I believe we are in the midst of a second Reformation. And like the first, the Lord is once again giving people access to the Word of God. This generation has the most Bible resources available than at any other time in human history. Multiple translations, commentaries, study Bibles, and teaching videos are at our fingertips. But yet, for some reason, we have reverted back to a religious culture that makes the laity dependent on the clergy to teach them the Word of God. The Second Reformation is once again giving people access to the Word, not through a book or resource, but by teaching them the grace of the new covenant. In Jeremiah 31, God promised to write His law on our hearts and on our minds. Jesus quoted Isaiah 54 when He told the Jews, The Lord Himself will teach you, and great will be your peace. The amazing truth of the new covenant is that God has put his word inside of us and has also given the best teacher in the entire universe, the Holy Spirit, to guide us in all truth. This isn't to say pastors and teachers are not important, but they are not meant to be our primary source for understanding the Bible, because the Lord himself is meant to be our main teacher. Many people are encountering the living and active Word of God and are being taught directly by the Holy Spirit. You are part of this Second Reformation. You are a reformer who will change the world as you walk in this new covenant grace. Bless you to have the Word of Christ dwell in you richly.